Hello everybody, this is MIT Airlines FSX Training on Demand. Today I'm going to cover a topic that plagues many simmers, and that is how to make a grease landing. I'm going to show you the landing first. Oh, this is the ILS localizer for the old KORD FSX scenery, uh, 27 left. Clear weather. I'm going to give you all the numbers and explanations later, but first enjoy the approach. Uh, it's completely hand flown at 500 feet. I'll disconnect the uh, auto throttle. Enjoy. My minimums is at 200 feet radio. From that point on, I'm going to disregard everything. It's going to be visual, which should be for most of your flights, unless it truly is a Cat 3 uh, visibility day. Five hundred feet, disconnect auto throttle. Minimums, it's completely visual now. Touchdown. Spoilers. Rakes, not quite on the center line, but pretty close. Apologize for that. Sixties, we are gonna disconnect you're going to uh take away reverse. Once airspeed goes off, then you bring up your uh spoilers and then revert to manual braking. Uh, at which point I'm going to uh, take it off on the high speed here. And taxi clear of the active. Come on. Alright. So we're not clear of the active. I'm going to give you a quick instant replay there. Uh, the model's not going to work as it is in instant replay. But, uh, you know, enjoy. Down, just a little to the right to the center line. You know, that's not quite as far back as I wanted, but let's try that again. Uh, 120 seconds, how's that? There's good. You can see here, we're uh, attempting to line up with the runway. I didn't quite do it this time. Uh, I apologize for that. I typically do. Uh, so, we're coming in here. The model is not going to work, it is an instant replay, so. Uh, just note that you heard it, you saw it, already, the spoilers and the, the thrust reversed it. Uh, trying to correct. So the auto throttle is disengaged. Uh, we're at minimums about here, so it's completely visual from now on. And there we go, we can see we're off the center line there. Now we're crossing the threshold at about 50 feet, 40 feet. Flare at 20, slowly idle the throttles, and touch down at a nice hundred some feet per minute. Uh, there's me trying to line up with the center line there. There's the high speed that we uh, talked just earlier. I'm going to do that again, noting the last few seconds of the flare, not the flare. So 
So again, this is around minimum 200 feet. It's completely visual now. Cross the threshold 30 to 50. In this case, it was 40 something, right in the middle there. Flare at 20. Idle the throttles nice and slow. Wait for it to kiss the ground. Alright, so there you go. That was how to make a nice landing. So, to review, keep the approach nice and stable. It should be more stable than I made mine as I slewed up because this is like fourth or fifth take already. Uh, keep it nice and stable. Trim as needed for the uh, approach um, uh, after your minimums. Unless it's completely cat three, in this, in which case this doesn't apply to you because this is hand flown. That would be an auto land if it wasn't cat three, unless you were crazy or something. Uh, after that, it should be pretty much visual at your minimums, as minimums dictates that you have your visual contact with the runway. Should be visual from then on. Uh, cross the threshold, aka it disappears past the nose and the glare shield of your cockpit here, um, at around 30 to 50 feet. If However, if you if you are higher than that, um, you should try and put it down as fast as possible. Completely forget about the means of making a smooth landing. Just put it down as fast as possible because at that's at that point you risk overrunning the runway. Uh, so if you do cross it between 30 and 50, you then go on uh, flare at 15 to 20. Unless you have a really fast rate of descent, in which case you should flare uh, 30, 40 feet. Uh, but if you're under uh, 600, 700 foot per minute in the descent, uh, you should be able to flare at about 15 to 20 while slowly and smoothly uh, idling your throttles because um, if you try and bring back the uh, throttles really, really fast, it'll make you have a uh, harsh transition into your flare and probably drop down to the ground really hard and bounce. Uh, so. Initiate your flare, pitch up the nose smoothly, two to three degrees. Uh, that should bring you down above the runway. You should sit there for a second, then come down nice and gently to hit the ground. So, again, my name is MIT Airlines. If you have a problem with FSX training, and there are no good tutorials out there, just go put one in my comments, and I'll get to it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.